Adam Savage in my cave with some show and tell of some pieces that have been here the entire time that you've known me, but I haven't really talked about them. Uh, this is a sculpture that I made um, in 1990, late 1991 or early 1992. Um, so to set the scene, I have only recently moved to San Francisco uh, in the summer of 1990. I went from living in the Western Edition to living in a loft down in Hunter's Point in an old mattress factory down on Yosemite Street. And I was working uh, as a part-time assistant for a machine artist named Chico McMurtry of Amorphic Robot Works. If you don't know, the early 90s were the absolute heyday of machine art and San Francisco was the center of the machine art universe because you had survival research labs on one hand and you had Chico and Amorphic Robot Works on another and you had a bunch of amazing people like Eric Polos and Barry Schwartz and other crazy wonderful people building stuff all the time. Inspired by the creativity I was working with and seeing all the time, uh, I traded my friend Troy Gimbel for an industrial sewing machine he had, and I started sewing a bunch of stuff. And this was the first major, for me, major piece that I sewed. Um, it is clearly a mace, like an old ye oldy mace that the knights of ye old might have fought with, um, but it's soft. And this is my homage to sculptor Klaus Oldenburg, which if you don't know his work, um, he's very famous for large outdoor sculptures of quotidian objects, but he also has this unbelievable piece that he made in the 60s called Soft Toilet, in which he sewed a toilet out of shiny white, I think it's white vinyl, um, and there's something about it that's so spectacularly disgusting and yet funny and dark that I wanted a taste of that. So I, I sewed up this mace and I specifically remember, uh, I sewed it up one night, I finished about 1 a.m. and I went down to Chico's studio because we lived in the same building and I showed it to him. And at that point, I had a piece of rope going from the handle to the spiky ball uh, and Chico went, what is this piece of rope? What, what is this piece of crap? And I was like, what do you mean? He's like, What's got, you've sewn the rest of it out of canvas. You've, you've got to continue finishing it out of canvas. And I'm like, you mean I got to make a whole chain out of canvas? That's like tiring. He's like, yeah, that's what it takes to finish this shit. You got to commit. And I was like, all right. I went upstairs and I sewed the chain and I was like, damn, he was totally, totally right. Um, so this piece has always been uh, in every shop I've had since 1992, and it remains one of my all-time favorites. I thought you should know.